Alrighty, good morning everyone and welcome to the stream. Sorry for the late start for this pre-stream, but this pre-stream is going to be informative, I hope. Uh, this is the start of a very important week for me, as you guys know if you've been following along. Um, so today is the 11th of May, 2021. Alright, and let's see here. Can I make a new tab? What I'm trying to do is... Get everything going here with Better Twitch TV. For those of you who don't know what's been going on, in summary, last month, I lost my Twitch partnership for no explicable reason. And when I mean that, when I say that, I mean it's definitely not explicable. Twitch didn't even explain it. All right? And for the last two to three weeks, I've been trying to make ends meet here. Uh, just streaming on Twitch with your support via tips and pledges to my Patreon. And it's been rough, I'm not going to lie, but it's it's been working. Now, sadly, in the short term, I need a lot of your help this week, and we're going to talk about that in a moment. Jasper, don't start that right now. Already. So here, I just start talking to you guys. Jasper gets starts biting my wires. Jasper, today is not the day for this. Listen to me. Jasper. Jasper, I have to talk to the audience. It's very important that I tell them what's going on right now. I need to be concentrating. Please stop. Jasper, please stop. Please be a good kitty today. Good Lord. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I made a commitment with you guys, okay? I said that if... Hold on a second here. Okay, Better Twitch TV has been added to Chrome. I said that if we were going to do some stuff this week, that basically I was going to commit to making some improvements to the channel um, so that you guys could still have access to things such as your emotes that you used to have. And now that everyone's losing their, uh, now that everyone's losing their subs because they're expiring and they can't resub, they're losing their ability to use emotes. And that's not right. So I committed that this week in particular, I would do my best to get those emotes reintegrated here into the stream chat. Okay. And. I, I started on that this morning. I've already made insanely good progress here um, with that. So for those who don't know, since there's no more subscriptions here on my channel, the only way that I can get emotes is by using Better Twitch TV or BTTV for short. If you don't know, you know, we never heard of it or whatever. Jasper, stop it. Stop that. Stop. Or I'll go with the twisties. Play with the twisty. Um, so yeah, the way it works is just go to Google, and you search for BTTV extension Chrome. Now, to, from my knowledge, it really only works in the Chrome browser. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it does continue to work. <clears throat> okay. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, not continue to work. Maybe it does work in other browsers. I only know that it works for sure in Google Chrome, and I use Google Chrome. That's the browser that I use, you know, both on my laptop and my desktop PC. Okay? So... You install that extension, and then basically by default, it's installed on Twitch chat. And the way it works is I've uploaded about 30 emotes this morning. Remember, I used to have roughly 40, and it would always rotate, okay? Um, I've uploaded about 30 of those to Better Twitch TV already this morning, and or there were some shared ones because Polish Frog was actually trying to grab a few emotes as well and add them to his channel as a shared capability. So that way, essentially, uh, <clears throat> essentially, I could use them in case of some bad stuff. Because here's what's happening, guys. As usual, as you guys know, whenever anything, something goes wrong for me, these people who are disgusting individuals try to make it worse. So I've been telling you guys over the past week, okay, this week I'm going to go to Better Twitch TV and I'm going to get all my emotes on there, right? So what did they do? They tried grabbing some emotes... And uploading my emotes that I own legally, I have the rights to them, always had, had, these emotes were created specifically for me by various people over the years. So they tried to steal those emotes from just postings on the internet and upload them to Better Twitch TV on their own channels. So that basically, now when I go to upload to Better Twitch, they say, oh, that emote already exists on Better Twitch and you can't use it. All right? These people are fucked up. They're really messed up in the head that they would do that. But what can I say? They're scumbags. Okay? So anyway, um, 
Polish Frog basically tried to grab a few of the emotes and upload it to his channel as shared so I could use them. And this morning, I just spent the greater part of an hour, a little more than that, actually, um, uploading all these emotes. Uh, oh, Firefox can also use better Twitch TV, I'm being told by Fluttershy. So there you go. Either Firefox or Chrome, you guys can uh, use these new emotes that were not new, with the old emotes, by using the Better Twitch TV extension, okay? So, I, the good news is, over 30 emotes have been added already. In fact, so, so just so you know, there's only a few that aren't added yet. Some of them I couldn't find yet. Uh, you'll notice a few. I know today people will probably be ch chatting and be like, oh, where's this one? Where's this one? Because from what I'm seeing, there's one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven emotes that I haven't found the source files yet. I still have to look around my PC, and I will over the course of this week. I'll keep looking, and I'll try to find them. So there's seven emotes that are not back yet because I can't find them. I have to find the files on my PC. They're probably not in the normal place where I kept all these things, okay? Outside of that, there's one, two, three, at least four emotes where trolls uploaded them to their Better Twitch TV channels and claimed that they're their property. I've already reported them to Twi uh, Better Twitch TV. I don't know if they're going to do anything about it or not. I don't know how it works. Worst case scenario, I may have to... Uh, I may have to do something to like recreate those emotes so that we have fresh e versions of them so that I can use them. Because... If Better Twitch TV doesn't do anything about it, there's nothing I can do about it. So you may notice today, oh man, there's like 10 emotes missing that we used to use. Yeah, I did as much as I could this morning. There's a few I can still work on. Like I said, there's like seven I need to track down myself. But on top of that, there's a good three or four here that trolls claimed for themselves, which is bullshit, of course. But it is what it is. Right? That's my fucking life. So, so... I am trying to live up to the commitment I made to you guys that I would get these emotes up on Better Twitch TV. And by the way, I'm now got to get used to using Better Twitch TV. I recommend you all get the, the plug-in for your browsers as well. Sadly, if you are using like a mobile device, to my knowledge, Better Twitch TV doesn't work unless you're using a full version of a browser. So I know, for example, there's a Firefox app on iPhone and Android, and there's a... a Chrome app, but I don't know if you can find extensions that will work for those or not. Uh, but I, right now, people are going crazy. They're loving it. I can tell already you guys are happy to see the emotes back. Uh, for those of you who were losing them, um, and I'm sorry for that. Obviously, this is not my doing. This is Twitch who kicked me out of the partnership, and that's why we're going through all this. All right? But this is one of the things like, hey, Jasper. Jasper, no biting of wires over there. Now, see... He's here. He's not. He's over there now trying to buy the wire on the other side of the office because he thinks that I can't get to him. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, I hope you guys will uh, enjoy the emotes that are back. Benzugo Lives says there's actually other apps you can download that are alternatives to the Twitch client. And I guess that these emotes will work through them. So, basically, if you can do the plugin for Chrome or Firefox, great. If not, you may have to do a little bit of extra work to figure out how to get them to work, but they're there. The emotes are there, like I said, over 30 emotes right now. And if I can figure out how to clear up the rest of these, you know, I will I will get them added. Um, and we'll go from there. Okay? So, working on it. Working on it, and I will let you know if, if there's any more progress. Like I said, sadly, some of these, it looks like I may have to have someone recreate versions of them with slight differences or something. I mean, let's be honest here. The Jasper emote's nice, but I think we could make a new Jasper emote. That's better anyway. That original Jasper emote is a couple years old. I think I'd like to make a new one. Maybe we get some new pictures of him and make some better emotes or something. Okay. So, we'll see. Divin Erasmus says your encoder settings are gone. Actually, the way it works on Twitch, we found out about this last week. Okay. Um, the way it works is thus. On Twitch, if you're in the partnership program or the affiliate program, you get priority... And therefore, when you turn on your stream, you will always get options for lower qualities than your source quality. If you're not in the partner or affiliate program, you don't get priority anymore. It doesn't mean that you won't have those options. It means that you just probably won't have them all the time. So if there's a time when there's not as many people streaming on Twitch, then you might see that I have those options to change the stream quality. But if it's very busy, 
or there's a lot going on on Twitch, there's a lot of partnered streamers streaming, then I won't have those qualities. And there's nothing I can do about that. I did lower my quality to 720p, and that's the best I can do. I'm certainly not going to stream any lower than 720p. So that's how we're rolling for now, okay? Fair enough? Does that make sense? So, the good news is, emotes are back. If you use the Better Twitch TV extension, you can use a ton of these emotes in the chat right now. People are happy. They're going nuts right now using them. And by the way, it's no longer just for subs. It's for everybody. Everyone can now use these emotes. Okay? You may have actually noticed there's a few emotes that have returned that are the older versions. In a lot of cases, I think some of the older versions of the emotes were better than the originals anyway. Uh, <laughs> so. All right. So anyway, yeah, that's the deal of what's going on right now with stream improvements. Now, when I get time this week, I will try to get find the rest that I couldn't find. Like I said, there's a good seven here I couldn't find. And then also I'll see what happens with these ones that the troll claimed and see if I can get them back. And if I can't, uh, like I said, likely I'll try to make new versions of them, okay? All right, now hold on one second while I go. I got a piece of sh paper here because I was looking at the email. So let me put it back on my desk here. All right. So... At least one promise fulfilled. Now, I told you guys I would also look into other things. For example, I want to see if we can find a way to rely reliably return polls to the streams. And I also want to see uh, if we can get channel points back. There are different options and ways to do these things. All right. Um, perhaps I will see if we can do something with this channel point system by the end of the week, again, by the marathon on Friday, which we're about to talk about. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, the good news is things are getting back to normal at least a little bit around here, all right? Uh, this week is incredibly important for me because in this week, all right, my plan is to raise funds to pay my mortgage on Saturday and then to pay my back tax plan on the 20th and then essentially to keep, you know, being able to pay everything else for the rest of the month. Since it looks like I'm not getting paid by Twitch for all the revenue I made in April under the partner program before they kicked me out... I need to raise that in a short period of time. The good news is that everything I've raised so far has paid all the bills that basically I owe through through this week up to the mortgage. Now, every penny I raise goes to the mortgage. All right? And that's, that's Saturday it's due. So I essentially have today, tomorrow, and Thursday to do regular streams. You know, regular double, double gameplay stream days. And then on Friday is the big marathon, which we'll talk about. All right? And I need to raise enough money to pay everything by Saturday. So I will let you know over the course of the week how things are going. And then I will let you know, obviously, when the marathon hits on Friday, this is what I need to raise by the end of that day in order to pay my mortgage. All right? And we'll go from there. See, it's tough, man. I don't like this. But obviously, what I'm hoping is after we get through this tough time this week, things will level out, level out a little better. Because essentially what will happen is then once I get past the hurdle, then everything that I'm making every day can just, you know, sit there until the next bills are due, which is the point. It's like, I normally would be fine, but I'm in a situation where there should be a big lump of money that's not coming in, you know? And there's nothing I can do about that. So I, I have to raise it through other means in a short period of time to make ends meet, okay? And by the way, if things change and if somehow Twitch does pay me this week, I'll let you know. But I don't think they're going to because they have not responded to me at all. I'm not going to lie to you guys and withhold information, but, you know, they haven't responded to a single request of mine. They're just ignoring completely everywhere. All right? So I'll let you know what happens. Now, here's the deal. Here's what we're doing this week. All right? Today, two major gameplay streams. The first stream, the continuation of Returnal. I'm going to be focusing on, obviously, beating the third world, which is what we can get to now. We don't have to go to the second world at all anymore, which is good. We do is we go to the first world, run around, level up a bit, and then we can take that shortcut using the tether to get right to the third level and then start grabbing stuff there, okay? It's good. Very good. So, hopefully things go well. Hopefully we get good progress today, all right? That would be good, obviously. Um, uh, tonight, the late stream, we're going to have a chill stream of new Pokemon Snap. That's going to be at 6.45 p.m. Pacific time. I've enjoyed that playthrough so far. It's very relaxing, but it's also fun to see all the different Pokemon and these different 
uh, environments and situations and trying to cr actually get better pictures is fun as hell. It's very similar to getting pictures in like Dead Rising or Bioshock, only it's cute instead of taking pictures of deadly enemies. Okay, so that should be fun. Um, would you stop biting my, my toe? <laughs> Jasper's sitting here biting my toes. Stop that right now. Uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, we return back to Resident Evil Village. All right, and I'm excited for that. As you know, I've absolutely loved, loved the playthrough so far. The game is outstanding. Every time I play it, something unique and different happens that blows me away. The first stream, we had the scene with the lichens in the street overpowering you, so many of them. It was really scary. The second stream, the cellar of blood and the enemies popping out of it. And then last stream, I would say the dollhouse was quite interesting and different from the rest of the game. It felt more like I was playing like Amnesia than anything else. So, I can't wait to see what's next. I seriously cannot wait to see what's next. Um, let's see what happens, okay? Let's see what happens tomorrow on the main gameplay stream. Then tomorrow night, it is going to be a late night stream of Near Replicant. We are making great strides in the side B run. We are seeing all kinds of new cutscenes and things that we didn't see the first time around, and it's actually answering a ton of questions, although we're kind of getting dark answers to our questions. Like, we found out last time, we killed a robot and a shade that literally were not aggressive at all because <clears throat> we were told they were when we were lied to. So we murdered them for absolutely no good fucking reason. <clears throat> it's pretty messed up. So we'll see how it continues tomorrow night. We're actually been doing a lot of the grindy stuff we need to do to get all the rare weapons, which is good. So we want to see the, the uh, alt alternate endings, right? Okay, then on Thursday, it's the likely conclusion of Resident Evil Village. If the game is as long as everyone says it is, I'm probably beating the game on Thursday, which is good. Because we've got new stuff coming up on Friday, and obviously I don't want the game to be lingering. And then Thursday night will be a late night chill stream of MLB The Show 21. My one stream a week where I play baseball and have good, fun, interactive times with all of you. Okay? <clears throat> then... On Friday, this is the big day, ladies and gentlemen. Friday is the big day. It is the Mass Effect Legendary Marathon. So, uh, oh shit. There you go. Clown mode. Hit it by accident. Let's also hit this. <laughs> Let's just hit everything. Let's just hit every single possible thing on the thing. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> how appropriate. Um, this Friday, Mass Effect Legendary Marathon. Mass Effect Legendary Collection releases this Friday. I'll be getting it and playing it in a marathon setting here on Twitch, which means I will likely play seven to eight hours of gameplay of Mass Effect 1 here on the stream. There will be some breaks. There'll be one major break for me to actually eat dinner with my wife. But outside of that, there'll be some minor breaks in between there. But mostly the focus is to get... A good chunk into Mass Effect 1, which is actually one of my favorite games of all time. It's like one of the games that got me back into console gaming way back when. 2007, I want to say. It was either 2007 or 2008, but I'm pretty sure it came out in 2007. Um, I absolutely love the game. But the thing is, this will now be the new edition, remade for modern consoles, modern graphics, some improved controls, and hopefully a steady frame rate, and they've taken all the bugs out. Because that game, as fun as it was, had a lot of graphical issues and tons of bugs. So hopefully they've all been removed and the game is now more smooth than ever before. Alright, in fact, very exciting because the Thugs on the Floor meme, the first meme that really ever came as a major thing out of my content, came out of my original Mass Effect 1 playthrough 11 years ago. And so, it'll be pretty damn cool. To return back and see what happens. It's going to be exciting. You know, I'm, I'm pumped. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Being able to replay it now for my modern streaming audience is going to be very fun and special. All right? Now, during this event, I am looking to raise funds to pay my mortgage the next day. It's very much due on the 15th. I need to pay it on the 15th or I'm late. So, we're going to see how things go today, tomorrow, and Thursday. Between those three days, see how much I raise on my normal streams. We're going to have the usual tips goals of $200 a stream each stream. We'll see how it goes and, you know, if I, if I can hit it or get close to it each stream. Obviously, the more I raise now, the better, right? Then, what we're going to do on Friday is have a goal, a running goal, to basically pay two major things. To pay my mortgage on the 15th 
and to pay my back taxes payment on the 20th. I have to pay both those things this month. If I don't, both of those things could put me into huge hardship. All right? Anything else going late, meh, not that big of a deal. But if you're late on your mortgage, if you're late on a back tax payment, and I, I basically, you know, uh, what's the word? Default on that? I'm in trouble. Okay? That's bad. Okay? So those are the things that I need to raise funds to pay immediately. All right? So I will let you know on Friday, here's the goal that we're trying to hit for the day for the marathon. If you like my content, if you like the stuff I put out, if you're really pissed about this last month, how I lost my Twitch partnership for no good reason, by all means, please this week, if you can, support the streams, all right? I need help right now more than pretty much ever before because if I don't get this, I don't even know what's going to happen. You know, maybe my mortgage company would be lenient and say, okay, we understand what's going on. You lost the source of income for this last month, but... The IRS ain't going to be lenient. They ain't going to give a shit. <clears throat> so, huh, that's that's basically what I'm, I'm facing right now. I'm incredibly nervous. I am incredibly nervous because I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, we could hit it. and Great. We might not. We might exceed it, in which case it would be amazing because that would then just go straight towards the next slew of bills coming up later on in the month, including more utilities, my cell phone bill, stuff like that, and then having excess to put towards next month so that we're not in this situation again. You see? But I don't know what's going to happen. And by the way, like I told you guys, if by some means I do get paid by Twitch, likely it'll be on Friday during the marathon, I would let you guys know. So at least we'd all have a little bit of a breath of fresh air. And, oh, okay, not that big of a deal then. Um, and then, like I said, anything I raised during that marathon would go towards everything else, all right, coming up. So we'll see what happens, all right? Please, again, I'm not asking anyone to do anything beyond their normal means. I'm not asking anyone to go crazy. I'm just saying, if you normally would support my streams, if you were someone who would have subbed, who would have cheered, and you haven't been doing that for the last three weeks, please support me during this marathon. If you don't like tipping, that's fine. You could pledge to my Patreon. No lie, Patreon, I, 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 those are funds I can have access to within like a day. So this week, man, I really hate what's happened in the fill. It sucks, but I don't want to tip. I hate PayPal. Please just pledge to my Patreon then. All right, and it's any amount. You can go as low as I think a dollar, and it's high. I don't even know if there's a cap over there. I have no clue. You know, the highest perk I have is fifty bucks, but you could always do more if you want to help out. Okay, <clears throat> so that's the deal for this week. Now, this weekend after the marathon ends on Friday, there's still normal streams. On Saturday, we're gonna have the continuation of Returnal, and I think on Saturday night we're doing my weekly throwback Street Fighter session because we can't do it on Friday, obviously, because on Friday I'm gonna be doing this marathon of Mass Effect. Then on Sunday, it'll be more Mass Effect Legendary Edition, and that'll be paired with my weekly stream of Rampa V3. So it's a good streaming week. It's a good variety of stuff coming up this week. We've got the conclusion, right? The, the conclusion of Resident Evil Village coming up. We've got the continuation of Returnal. We've got the continuation of New Replicants B-Side Run. We've got all the late-night chill stuff still coming. We got all kinds of fun stuff. And then, of course, a marathon of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. This is going to be a great streaming week, okay? I'm very excited for that. Fair enough? I hope so. I hope this all sounds good to all of you. Now, for the rest of the month, likely what I'll be doing is focusing on Returnal and Mass Effect and Nier as far as I can. Now, at the end of this month, there is a new release. It's called Biomutant. I don't know if I'm playing it or not. Quite frankly, I haven't even looked into it. I've been so goddamn busy and everything recently. Um... <clears throat> I haven't really had a chance to mess around with it and figure out what it is. I might play it, I might not, okay? We'll see what happens later on this month. We're going to see how I'm doing in the games that I'm playing, obviously, before I, uh, you know, go too crazy, obviously. And let's see what happens. Well, maybe I'll play it, maybe I won't. I don't know if it's my style of game, okay? Oh, my God, Polish Frog, that is an army of fucking vest emotes. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> that's a lot of vests. Yikes. Okay. So. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Um. Oh, by the way, guys, don't freak out too much about these tips coming in because I have to verify all of them, and I'm almost positive that that big tip that just came in is unverified. Just so you know. I'm almost positive it's an unverified tip, which likely means that it's bogus. Okay? Don't go too crazy here. Okay. So, thank you all in advance for any support this week. Thank you all in advance 
for being patient with the fact that everything's been screwed up over the last few weeks. I'm doing my absolute best here, all right, to try to make things normal again. You know, re-adding these emotes for those who are going to use better Twitch TV was a big step to getting things back to normal. I hope that you guys enjoy using them. And by the way, now, it's for these emotes are now for everyone. It's not just for subs anymore. Now everyone can use my channel emotes as long as you have the Better Twitch TV plugin or as long as you have another means. I think someone said, oh, there's like an alternate app for Twitch you could download that has those implemented or something, right? Jasper, what was that? I sounds like Jasper just tried to open a cabinet. <laughs> Hold on a second here. Jasper. What was that? What's going on over here? You were trying to open that cabinet, weren't you? There's nothing in there. So you want to play with the Twizzy? Oh my goodness. I'm going to play with the Twizzy. Ready? There he goes. I was like, what is that noise? It sounds like someone's opening a cabinet. It's, it's Jasper jumping and grabbing the handles of the cabinets. <laughs> He's being silly. Okay. All right. So... That's the deal for this week, guys. Um, really, the only other thing that I have to talk about is I want to apologize. Last night on Twitter, I got pretty upset. Um, I'm just gonna, in a nutshell, I'm gonna, I'm gonna summarize it as quickly as I can. When times are good, my trolls try to bring me down as much as they possibly can. Last year, with the things like the vest streak going on and a lot of positivity and things that were going on around my streams. The trolls were absolutely furious because it seemed like no matter what they tried, no matter what they did, nothing worked. I was successful no matter what, and they were very upset about this, okay? Ever since that happened, they have been waiting in the wings for something bad to happen to me so that they could jump on it and just basically try. Like, you know what they're like? They're like fucking vultures. They're like, they're waiting for you to end up getting stranded in the desert, feeling like crap weakened in a weakened state so that they can strike right that's what they do they they fly around and by the way this is not in particular just one person there's been more than one person recently that's been acting like this in regards to me and it's pretty disgusting behavior in my opinion if you really want to look at <clears throat> if you want to look at the, the core of a content creator and the kind of person that they really are you want to see what kind of content they make to get attention for themselves on behalf of someone else if there's someone out there that they make content, but they don't hurt anyone in the process of doing it, and they don't have to talk junk about other people in the process of doing it, that's a good content creator, right? But someone who literally is like a vulture flying around looking for a carcass, someone who's already down, someone who's already hurt, and now it's time to strike, think about what kind of a person that is and why on earth you would want to support them, right? How toxic, how disgusting, and by the way, I'm not saying I'm a perfect person. But I certainly, you don't see me doing that kind of content. When, when do you ever see me do a giant stream making fun of someone for, for hours on end? When did you ever see me <clears throat> trying to constantly stomp on someone else? I don't. Every once in a while, I'll strike back to someone who struck at me in a tweet or something randomly. You're not going to see me do lengthy content. You're not going to see me try to really hurt people. And by the way, you're never going to see me try to make money doing it. That's really underhanded. So not only am I going to wallow in someone's misfortune and misery, oh, let me try to make tons of money off of it too. Let me make a bunch of videos and streams. On it. No, I would never do that. Every once in a while, if I have something to say, all right, I'll say it. I'll make a tweet about it or whatever. You're not going to see me on my streams wasting time with this shit. That's not who I am. What are my streams for? Playing games, having fun, having a good positive time with all of you. Not shitting on people, not toxicity, not negativity, not a bunch of garbage. You, you always know that from my content. I've never, ever been like that. The hilariousness about stuff is that people will make shit up. Like right now, people in the streets are saying, what about Pro Jared? What about it? Pro Jared was what, two tweets? And they didn't even say his name, did they? Right? They didn't. I didn't even directly address the guy. Everyone kind of knew that I was alluding to it because that was the big thing that was going on on social media at the time but there was one tweet that was directly to him because it was a response to a tweet that he had insulted me with many years ago and then there were two generalized tweets and that's it the fact that they went viral and everyone talked about it doesn't mean that it had anything to do with me making content i made zero content about that zero i didn't make a single video and i didn't make any fucking streams about it at all nope so i don't want to hear about it i just don't it's bullshit that's complete bullshit that you want to say all right but the point I'm making here is there are people who literally all they do is they do this to people. 
This is how they make their living. This is how they get ahead is by being disgusting and nasty to people on the internet. They wait for their moment of misfortune, and then it's time to jump on them to make a buck. It's like they jump on the body and they shake it so dollars fly out of it or something, right? It's like, what the fuck is this shit? So, all that being said, you know, I know that recently there's been quite a lot of people. It's not just one or two particular people, but there's quite a lot of people who come out of the woodwork to basically jump on my, I mean, even the last two, three weeks and say, ha, 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 Phil lost his partnership. Ha, ha, ha. It's like, geez, wow, you guys are great, huh? You really, it was a really boring day for you. You had nothing else to do to come over here and crap on me and then try to get money from it, right? Because all it is, the only reason they do it is because they know it's drama views. They know it's drama views and they can make revenue crapping on someone else. They literally, if they try to do positive content, they usually get no attention at all. Or they get a fraction of the attention that they'll get if they do negative content. Which is why you've seen some of these people, oh, I'm going to try to do stuff outside of making fun of Phil. And no one even knows about it and, you know, it's not successful. Oh, wait, Phil is having misfortune right now? It's time to crap on them again and again, you know? It's pretty insane. That's how these people are, though. So you have to understand that, all right? And these people always exist. But it really gets my goat when people have to do things like bring up my wife and shit. Because that's just fucked up. It's one thing you want to make fun of me. It's one thing you want to make fun of my misfortune. It's another thing entirely. When you want to try to make fun of my wife and say disgusting things about her, like, she, like you know, talking about divorce and stuff, it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Who are you, in, one, in what world is it right for you to make statements like that? Right? Like, who the fuck are you? So, it, it does upset me when stuff say, people say shit like that. Absolutely. It says shit like, when they say shit like that, I get, I get heated, I get upset. You know, everything, every emotion, sadness, anger, you know, everything. And last night, finding out that someone who I had just praised, literally just praised this person a couple streams ago and said, good on them. Everything I'm hearing is that this person has changed the kind of content they make. They're making positive content now. They moved on from being this toxic person on the internet. And if they're doing good for themselves, I wish them well. I wish I never said that. Seriously. I mean, I mean it. But at the same time, what does that person do? Oh, I could turn while Phil's has his day off and he can't even respond. Let me go ahead and make an insanely toxic stream about him, making fun of him and his wife and everything, and make a bunch of money doing it. All right? So I've had enough with this. You're not going to hear me praising anyone like that anymore. Anyone who wants to make toxic content about me, you can go fuck yourself. I'm not going to ever say, oh, I'm never going to believe these people can be reformed because if ever I was duped, right? This is what I mean. I give people the benefit of the doubt and then I always get fucked over. This is the story of my life. Phil gives people the benefit of the doubt. He believes things that he said and told and then he gets screwed over for it and looks like a jackass. That's my whole life. My whole fucking life. Every, you know, friendships, relationships, that is my whole life. Is Phil believes in the best of people. He believes that people can truly change and be good. And then this happens. So enough is enough. I'm not putting up with it anymore. I'm not going to believe bullshit. You guys tell me someone's changed? Fuck that. I'm just not going to say shit about them anymore. I'm not going to waste my time on it. There's no point in wasting my time on this kind of people. They're just toxic shitheads. They're just going to bring everything down around us. So let them have their own little toxic fucking worlds. Let them have these disgusting people who toss them money for gross, toxic, insulting things they say on their streams. They think it's funny. No, you're fucked up in the fucking head. Good, good luck getting on in life like that. These are people who they'll always have to have their own little toxic circle jerking communities because no one who's positive loves them. No one who is a positive person in life will ever give them the time of day. Ever. Think about that. What normal person who has positivity and love of their life is going to spend time with a person who sits on the internet shitting at the misfortunes of others all day long? Right? No one. So let them all have each other. And we'll be over here doing positive stuff and ignoring all the shitheads. All right? I'm, I'm actually pissed now that I even had a tweet about it last night because it was a mistake. I know it was, but I was so emotionally pissed that I had actually got out of my way to praise someone and then they just turned around, waited for my day off of the week to crap on me. Like, wow, you're a fucking asshole. Seriously. So that's my attitude from now on. I'm not wasting time with these people anymore. You're not going to hear me talk about them. I don't want it. I don't want to hear about it. I want to hear, oh, Phil, here, this guy said this about you today. This guy said, fuck that. I don't care. Don't bring it up. Don't send me emails. Don't tweet me. Don't fucking talk about it in my chat. I don't care. Let them all have their own toxic communities of people who are unloved. Seriously. Let them all be miserable together on the internet. 
we can be positive together over here and have a much better time than they ever fucking will have because we don't have to be nasty and degrading to people to have a good time. Okay? Fair enough? And that's it. That is my final say on the matter. I just don't want to bother with this shit anymore. I don't. Okay? Let the vultures fly above. What the sad part is, what they're going to find out, is that I'm not dead. I'm not. I'm not going anywhere. The vultures have been f flying above me for, what, five, six years? And they're like, Jesus Christ, what's going on? Phil's still down or he's all right. Yeah. Because I'm not going anywhere because I'll tell you why. Because someone who focuses on positivity will always have support. That's why. Someone who is actually a focused, positive person. Someone who has content that's positive. Someone who actually has real interactions that are meaningful with their viewership instead of just toxic jokes. And someone who actually has a loving family life behind the scenes to support them when they are down. That person is never going to give up. I'm not going to just go away. Right? Seriously, what the? Are you out of your mind? No. I am never going to go anywhere. I have the support of my family. I have the support of my viewers and all my positive people here. I don't have to worry about the toxic vultures flying above me. They can be up there for until they fucking die. I don't care. They'll die of old age waiting for me to fucking go away because I ain't going away. <clears throat> it's that goddamn simple. Okay? All right? That's that. It's time for shout-outs. Let's do some shout-outs. Sadly, I think that one of these contributions I just got is not legit. Or if it is legit, it's basically... Uh, unverified so you know so let's go through them first of all 672 yeah it's sad that obviously you're not on the 14 month sub streak anymore but thank you for for still supporting me regardless i appreciate that um rob on wheels started today with the first contribution of 34 dollars is continuing with your tradition i turned 34 yesterday well happy birthday to you rob i hope you had a good day hope you did at least something special for your birthday excuse me and uh thank you you know for the contribution it's good to see you i don't see you all the time on streams anymore i don't know if that's just because you're busy or you're not interested in the games or whatever but it's good to see you and let's get that up on the leaderboard as the biggest tip so far today so happy belated birthday to you obviously we missed out on uh <laughs> on the actual day um and good to see you okay snowcrawl took me a dollar 30 i've already explained snowcrawl what happens if I do actually get paid by Twitch. I don't think I will. If I actually do get paid by Twitch for what they owe me for the performance that I did in April before they kicked me out of the partner program, that's going to go directly to pay the mortgage. I hope it's enough. And also to pay the back tax payment. I hope it's enough. Okay? Anything raised the next X of that will immediately go to everything else coming up. Because by the end of the month, like I said, I got multiple utility bills. I got my health insurance bill. I've got, um, oh, cell phone bill. Those kind of things. And then anything in excess of that goes to next month because people say what's going to happen next month well that's the good news once i get past the hurdle of the mortgage and the back tax payment all right then whatever i raise can go to next month oh by the way i forgot i also have to pay my monthly federal income tax payment this month so there's still a lot to go between now and the end of the month the hurdle right now is the mortgage by saturday and then the back tax payment by the 20th but then i got a bunch of payments i got to make by the end of the month so anything in excess goes to that that simple no i can't blow it on things like Snow Carl's insinuating, well, can you upgrade your setup? No, no, I have to pay. You have to understand something. I just lost a giant source of income that every month I could depend on. It's gone. My money has to go directly to pay every bill. That's where my money is going. All right. That's simple. Now, Luke M tipped me two hundred dollars, but I checked the tip, and of course, it shows as unverified on PayPal. So, Luke M., are you here? Can you confirm who you are? Because, sadly, with an unverified tip like that, I can't accept it without other circumstances, like knowing who you are and see if you're a regular or whatever. Um, you know? But I don't recognize the name Luke M. The problem is, again, you might not realize this, Luke. Over the last six to eight months, I had someone who was buying stolen credit cards off the internet, and they were sending me these tips just like this one supposedly looking like they were supportive in reality they were charged back okay oh wait so he did say something 
Okay, hold on. The two hundred dollar tip is legit. It was me. It might take a while to show, but the, the one hundred forty nine oh four. I guess that's euros. Well, definitely left my bank. I don't talk much. I'm going to enjoy the stream now. Oh, where? Well, where was that? Was that much higher up? Because I didn't see the original message. Crap, and now I can't. I scrolled all the way up and it won't show it anymore. What was the guy's name who said that? I appreciate you guys pasting the message, but I need to know who said that. Chef Leopard, you're better off to shut up right now, man. <laughs> Alright guys, instead of pasting the message, I need to know who the person who said that message. So I can look at their account. Well, until I get an answer, I don't know if I can trust it or not. I'm getting told two to three different names now. <laughs> All right, let's continue because I don't know if this is real or not. All right. The next tip that came in was actually from Eternal Napalm. He tipped me $2. He said, big shout out to Independent Studio Housemark on a fantastic game. Seven hours in, I'm loving Returnal. Gripping cosmic horror atmosphere. Awesome combat. And a mysterious story in a truly alien world feels like a AAA game. Big ups. All right. I, you know, at first, I was skeptical. And admittedly, I really still don't like the roguelike model. I just don't. But... I am liking it, and now that I'm seeing that, you can actually take shortcuts, and you don't have to necessarily... Like, I don't have to go through the second world at all. I could skip the whole thing. So that's good, you know? I'm thinking it's not as bad as originally I thought it was going to be. So, thank you, Eternal. Uh, of course, B-Boy Cyclone, a 50-month resub that's not real. Well, thank you, B-Boy Cyclone, for at least the support when you could. 50 months of support was outstanding. Um, Fred Flintstone... We subscribe for 45 months. <laughs> thank you for that. Of course, it's not real. So thank you guys. By the way, it's running out. It's only going to be about one more week people will be able to do these fake messages and they're all going to go away. So thank you to those who did support for so long, by the way. I hope, I hope that you guys will consider contributing in other ways, tipping or pledging to my Patreon to make up for this, okay? CM Fool to me $4.20 says, Square Enix told the Quiet Man fans to watch E3. Are you excited? I, that, that better not be true. That better be false. Seriously. That better be false. <laughs> They're not. It was such a flop that totally better not be real. You better be full of baloney. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I haven't gotten any confirmation of who it was that actually sent this tip. I can't get anything confirmed in the chat. All I got is people spamming the message over and over and over all claiming that it was them yeah I don't see any confirmation I'm probably going to have to refund it here especially if it's from someone who has only been here since May man Leon DeGrell is claiming it's him. No, it's not him. I could already read it, and I could see all his messages. He's full of shit. It wasn't him. He's a liar. <laughs> it definitely wasn't him. All right, well, Leon M., whoever you really are, because I can't even tell in the stream chat, all right? Um, I, I apologize. I can't accept it. I want to, I really need the help, but I can't accept these unverified tip without having some kind of a long-standing relationship of support in the chat and without having any kind of evidence that it's real, you know, unverified. I can't trust it, man. I got to refund it. All right. Sucks. Like I said, I need the help, but if you want, if you can verify your PayPal account, please, by all means do so. And please, by all means, if you'd like to come back and contribute again, please do. But I cannot 
accept this tip. And please, again, don't don't t try tipping again until your, your account's verified, okay? All right, I just refunded it. Sucks. Sucks I had to do that because I really need the help. That would have been amazing, an amazing start to the day, but I guess it is what it is, right? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, that's about it. Let us take a break. I got to use the bathroom. Let's take a quick break for me to use the restroom. All right. And I shall return shortly with the continuation. Oh, thank you, Polish Frog. I appreciate that. I will look into that. And hopefully that will allow me to upload some of the other emotes that I'm missing. He says he emoted me. He, he had archived and he's e emailing me all the emotes I may not have gotten. Good. I'll look into that. Thank you, man. All right. So. Let's take a break, come back with the continuation of Returnal, attempting to beat the third stage. We're going to go through the first stage a little bit, gather some some you know upgrades, and then head into the third, the tether, and hopefully we'll make good progress today. I'm hoping to beat the third stage today. Don't know if we will, especially because I haven't played this in a while now, so likely I'm going to be pretty goddamn rusty, but it is what it is, right? All right, let's take a quick break, grab a drink, a snack, use the restroom, whatever you need to do, and I'll see you guys in a few, all right? Cool.